welcome to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're gonna to be talking about exciting the neurology on the reformer. So we have Jennifer in with me today to experiment a little bit with getting the neurology to wake up in a different way while doing kind of our regular everyday feet and straps or hands and straps. We were in uh, Florida at the Movement Studio Body and Core in West Palm Beach, and we got to actually experiment with a completely different movement paradigm, which is called Red Cord. Some of you might be familiar with it, or if you're not, definitely go on Google and check it out. But it's a, a type of suspension training, and I was really struck by the ways that it supported the body, but then also a part of the protocol is about sending vibration into the different straps that are supporting the body so that the body had to calibrate in space in a completely different way. As I was sitting there working with that and um, being, being the model for some red cord training, um, I was sitting there thinking about the ways that I could incorporate and be inspired by that movement paradigm because it's really important for us as teachers to constantly be curious and see what type of different types of movement modalities can really bring uh, a different well-roundedness to our Pilates repertoire. So this is going to be super simple, really easy to do, especially with the straps. The springs on a Cadillac, it could really help also, but it's nice with this kind of solid signaling of feet and straps. So Jen said she'd be my guinea pig today. So I'm gonna have her extend her legs out. And let's go into parallel with feet just slightly apart. And what I want you to do is just um, hinge up and down with the legs, just nice and easy. So this is usually what we have clients warm up with here. But here's the thing, your neurology in your body typically is gonna do exactly what it always does. And we're always looking for balance and symmetry in the body. Sometimes we need to literally shake things up so the body can do something in a different pathway than what it's used to doing. This is great work from anyone from your beginning client, of course you're gonna make it a little bit more subtle, to your most advanced mover. Because no matter how great of a mover you are, you're typically moving from the guys in your body that know how to turn on. So I'm just gonna stand behind Jen, and ever so slightly, I'm gonna to start to send a vibration into the straps, and I can do it as hard, and you can see her legs are having to calibrate, her pelvis is having to calibrate, or as soft as I feel like her body needs to be just that little bit confused and can she let the pelvis relax as the signal from the straps into that heel cup of the foot sends this nice vibration all the way through the body. Very good, you can go ahead and bend in, Jen. So you can see that difference in what's happening in our tissue. Our tissue is vibrating around and we know that vibration is amazing for the body. It's deeply healing on so many different levels, but give this a go. Like I said, hands and straps, feet and straps in so many different ways. If we can just tweak it a little bit for our clients, it can really round out the way that they work in their body and, and awaken some of those, what I call the holes in the Swiss cheese. So they're working with a full, a full piece of cheese there. Thank you. That's all for today. If you have any questions or observations you'd like to see answered on an upcoming episode, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or our forum. Thanks so much for watching and never stop learning.